Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a big unboxing, this one here. Uh, but I would also like to show you some other things I got. I got one of these uh, bead storage uh, trays. I've heard uh, a lot about them and I think quite a few um, recommends them. So I got this one from Amazon and I can't really remember how much it was but it wasn't one of the more the cheapest ones so it's a bit expensive but I hope it's worth it. And the one I chose was the one with 45 bins so it has all the um, four sizes a big one a little bit smaller second smallest and the smallest one and I think the small one is really nice for I would say at least four bags of uh, drills and hmm, I, I think it's gonna work pretty good so I'm looking forward to try this one out and you, you get some sticky labels for them as well I'm not sure I'm gonna use that though And since I tried the um, tag questions for one of my uh, paint with me videos, I noticed it was a bit easier to have something to talk about. And Stitcherista said the other day in one of her videos that she was going to buy a game or a book that is called What If, which sounded like a lot of fun. So I found this game, which is called Shit Happens. And I think just for the fun of it, that maybe I could like draw a card like this one. And talk about it, you know. So this one is like eat a bowl of worm spaghetti and yeah we all know how great that would be right yeah just a thought otherwise i think this one would be fun to play with at home so let me see let me get my phone I'm just checking the information for this order. Okay. Yeah. How can I start this? Um, I'm a heaven and earth uh, stitcher and I've been stitching those um, cross, cross stitching patterns for many years. I haven't finished that many but I have a lot of different projects with them. And when the first bookshelf pattern with uh, designed by Amy Stewart came along, the um, treasure hunt bookshelf everyone at heaven and earth just went crazy everyone wanted that pattern and someone even asked me if i shouldn't do it uh, since i love confetti and i love when there's lots of things to to stitch um, but since everyone was getting it i felt like nah no and there's quite a few books in that pattern 
and I just finished The Train of Dreams, where there's also quite a lot of books. So I thought, no, no. And then there came other bookshelves, which I've started. So, But then, <clears throat> not long ago, uh, when I joined all kinds of Facebook groups, uh, uh, which uh, was about diamond painting, there was this Haid diamond painting group. And there were some ladies there. One has finished the, uh, the treasure hunt bookshelf. And some show their whips. And when I saw the picture, I just knew. I have to make that one in diamond painting. And I already know that it's much faster than cross-stitching. So I thought I have to get that. And <clears throat> I asked around. And there were two companies that was that was recommended to me, and one was the um, Cooper Diamond Art Company in the States, and those were the ones who responded the fastest, and I have had great communication with Brandy. So <clears throat> she gave me a quote on the bookshelf treasure hunt by Heaven and Earth Designs. And it's the regu regular size, uh, but it's the color expansion version. So there is 140 colors. I will link um, uh, the, um, the link to the, to the pattern where you can buy it on Heaven and Earth Designs uh, site. Um, and because I don't have the picture, maybe I can find it actually on my phone. I can show you. Um, let's see. And yeah, uh, she gave me a quote and it cost $200, which is about 2000 Swedish kroners. And, um, And since I live in Sweden, I have to pay some higher shipping. And that was only $20, actually. And compared to like Amazon and Diamond Art Club, $20 is not that much. So I thought that was a good price. Um, Here is the picture. I don't know if you can see that. That's the one I'm making and 140 colors. So that's awesome. Yeah. No, I need my knife. So let's open it up um, and of course the picture or the pattern isn't um, it's not on the canvas so it's it's a blank canvas and well I think it would be a lot more fun and faster if you could actually get them the patterns um, printed on the canvas but since uh, you know all the copyright stuff and all that um, they can't do that so I just consider it as any other cross stitch project so that wouldn't it shouldn't be that bad really yep um, I just hope and pray to God that the drills are nice quality. It's uh, square drills. And that the canvas is nice. I really hope so. I think I could pay almost anything just as long as the canvas is okay. And I don't know. You see how huge the package is? It's so big, it can't fit in the camera. I'm gonna 
actually measure the package just for the fun of it. That's one meter. Yeah. And, sorry. It's one meter and 115 centimeters about. It's quite long. Now let's see. I mean, this is, I don't know, it's, it's, there's something about unpacking, you know, when you just start pulling out the drills. Oh, and there's a packing list. Nice. And the, the cool thing that when you have so many different colors, you don't have hundreds of packages of one color. You have a lot, but less of each color. Of course, that's one bag. Second bag. Oh, it looks like black. Oh, I just realized one thing. I can't see the number on this. We'll see. The canvas is rolled on a foam roll. That's awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and a tool kit. It's not like I don't have any of these. So it's the two two, three, four pieces of wax, a pen with a um, three placer, four placer, four placer, bent tweezers. I don't have to open that. We all know how they look like by now, right? Ooh. It looks very promising. little bit teeny tiny squish, squeezed in the um, that end no it's not gonna affect anything same here a tiny teeny bit squished I, I I have I just noticed something can you see how many times that canvas is rolled around the foam roller I, I, pro I, I will never finish it. I, I don't think so, but I need to. Come on. Three, four, five, six. Oh, there's more. Wait. Seven, eight. bags <laughs> and here I'm very happy to see I can see the numbers clearly on the bags so I'm not worried anymore so uh, I need to I think I need to look at the inventory because, well, you never know. And I'm very curious also of how um, to take a closer look at the diamonds. Mm. I'm just gonna open Little, 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 little bit here at the end. And the um, sticky part is actually uh, coming along up with the cover. It follows up. So I don't know. I will have to check uh, YouTube how to 
stick it down you can see that there is dirt a little bit of dirt underneath the the tape the sticky part there but what i was a bit curious of was if there were any grid lines and there is that makes my life a bit easier I should open this up and take a look on the back side, but at the same time, I don't know, should I do that? I have some pool noodles, so I can roll it up on that, it's no problem. Come on! Yes, so this side was a lot better it looks much nicer oh my I, I can't wait to get this started but I have so many others so many big ones I have to finish um, I guess you guys want to see the canvas from the Cooper diamond art right so it's it's an unboxing so I should do it I should do it. Yeah, the Cooper Diamond Art uh, Brandy, of course, Brandy, uh, has been really, really amazing. She has answered all the questions. She has keeping me updated. And I ordered it, by the way, on the 23rd of July. And the package uh, arrived on the 8th of August. So from ordering it, to uh, and that was after I got the quote she gave me the quote like the day before um, so I, I would say it's yeah it's very good I cannot complain about that at all um, I feel uh, the canvas and I don't have that much experience with other canvases but comparing to the diamond art clubs I've ordered from two stores at AliExpress and one from Sweden and this <coughs> canvas feels very sturdy, uh, thick, um, yeah. And now I need to, I, I actually need to move some of the stuff so I can try to roll some of the canvas up. Here's one river or what do you call it pucker I don't I can't tell which one it is but there is some an air bubble here and the way it feels and sounds I think I would be able to make the cut and uh, smooth it to, and uh, make it uh, flat I think I would be able to do that I can also see here that the cover paper is cut in four pieces, which I think is very nice. Um, so I will just check the back. Before I always thought I was going to check the, the front. And then I watched YouTube. I love YouTube. You get all the information you need on YouTube. Someone said it's the back you're going to look at. Yeah. So, looks nice so far, except for the first thing there. Mm. 
There's another pucker over there, a river. I think it, it was only those two rivers, looks like here as well, but on the back side it looks okay. I think this is like happening now when I'm unrolling it. Um, Yeah. So. Oh yeah, I also need to check when I'm about to start. Um, if they have left any, um, what you call that, like uh, some borders. When you when you cross stitch, you always have like I always have about four inches from the. Uh, you know from from where the, the the pattern starts and you always need some fabric for framing or if you want some some space between the the, the frame and and the cross stitch itself I can't uh, come to I can't uh, find the word for it right now but um, and I'm wondering if they have that as well on the diamond paintings uh, yeah, yeah, well, you know, you compare it to Diamond Art Club's canvas and it's not the same, but I, th I think this is okay. I mean, uh, I have to start and try um, to get a feel for it and see how it is. So I'm going to get a pool noodle and uh, I'll be right back. So I'm back. Uh, here's my pool noodle. Uh, let's see if I can roll this thing on here. I was like, when I started uh, before I got my first diamond painting, I watched so many videos and I watched quite a lot of um, Stitcheristas, her videos when she was starting out. And she was like, you know, you need to... Okay. I need to... Uh... Oh, she said, well, you know, it's good to get the pool noodles at dollar store, uh, you know, to put around the edges of the table and roll your diamond paintings on and I was like okay pool noodle and I couldn't just get one I had to get like I think I got six of them right away and we don't have them at dollar stores so I had to order them from like a swimming store online <laughs> and they didn't cost just one dollar they cost quite a bit but I'm using them for my big diamond paintings and it's perfect. I don't regret it. So I can really recommend those. Yes. So nice and rolled. Some old wax. So that's nice. Yep. I need to look it in the camera. So Now I'm going to do an inventory. I will speed up the video. Oh my God. I, I, I'm just, I'm just looking at the list. Um, there's 117 bags of black. Oh, 
my god and what about 939 64 bags oh this is hilarious mm. what else do we have a lot of um 814 is 48 bags and 823 is 39 bags yeah that's not so bad really but the black ones it has to be these has has to be the black ones <clears throat> um I'm very curious, as I said, on the quality of the pearls. No, the drills. Why do I always call them pearls? Seriously. And now I'm comparing them to the drills I'm working with now on my first, uh, first squared um, diamond painting. And um, the first impression is, wow, very different. Um, I have a big problem with popping drills on the one I have now. And I'm glad it's the first one I'm doing because now I know it can only get better. Um, some of them are small, some of them are big, some have this um, stuff left on the, the sides around the drills, like, uh, uh, like the machines have to cut, cut it properly. Um, yeah, there's, I mean, I'm not gonna show you all the 140 colors, that's just silly. Um, there's only one, two, three, four, five of this lovely grass green color. It's so fun. When you see the, the quality of these, you really want to get started. It's really, really nice. Um, I need to take a look at the black ones as well, and then I will do the inventory. They look very nice as well. I love black. It always makes pictures pop. I think it's the best color in every picture, always, because it just, mm, yeah. Um, I think the video will be too long if I speed up the video actually and let you watch me, you know, check 140 colors. So I will just pause the video and come back. Yeah, so now I've done the inventory and unfortunately all colors aren't there. There's three colors um, missing, or you should say I have gotten um, the wrong colors. So my kit says two bags of six one, 601 and I got two bags of 600 and I looked at my um, DMC color chart and yeah it's almost the same hue so I guess I think that's it's okay it's not so many drills same thing with um, 3832 I got four bags of that and I should have gotten um, 33 
and 33 is slightly lighter but I guess it would work now 3041 um, I had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven bags of 3041 and I was supposed to get 42 and I don't know if you can see I'll try to show you this is 42 and this is 41 and 42 is actually quite lighter and I don't know how that will affect the design but I don't think it will ma matter that much so I will email Brandy and tell her about it and let her know that it's okay but it's still a bit wrong but I, I think otherwise um, I've gotten like one bag or a couple more of what the design calls for so I think that's really really nice um, yeah but I'm quite uh, happy with the with the order and if I do bother too much about these drills I mean it won't cost me that much to order the, the correct color so that's okay um, so yeah um, I think that's all for today so if you have any questions please leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time thank you for watching